Hey everybody, this is Neo once again from the Overclocker magazine and today I'm bringing you the ROG Strix Radeon RX 6800. So first things first, let's talk about pricing here. I don't actually have pricing for this graphics card right now. The reason I don't have pricing for this graphics card is because it's seemingly out of stock everywhere. I looked overseas and I looked here locally and it was just out of stock everywhere. And in light of that, I cannot actually tell you the value proposition of this card. What you will have to do is figure out whatever pricing that you're able to get wherever you're able to find this graphics card, is that pricing worth the performance that I'm showing you right now? And if it is, definitely go for it. If it isn't, then well, look around, okay? So with that said, let's get on with the stuff that actually matters. So what makes this an ROG Strix graphics card? Once you have a card that runs cool, that is reliable, built with the best components, and isn't necessarily for extreme overclocking, there really isn't much you're going to be able to do. All you can do is just make it run cooler, make it more presentable, add more colors to it, do all sorts of things to make it attractive. And I think ROG has actually done that with this design. It's not a new design, of course, and you have seen it before, but as effective as it was then, it's just as effective now. So I am all using an open test bench as well. So it might seem, oh, okay, your temperatures are lower than would be in the case, but that's not necessarily true because I have literally zero airflow on my test bench but the temperatures that i recorded they were mighty impressive so kudos for rog for literally repeating a formula that's worked before and it's proven itself so that said let's actually talk about performance what i recorded actually was that this card is almost perfect for ultra wide gaming so i'm talking 3440 by 1440p i think that's the sweet spot for this graphics card which is Probably similar sweet spot for the RTX 3070, but this one is just so much more comfortable. And particularly if you want to go 4K, you actually have that option here. So the whole experience for me with this card was actually quite surprising. Um, yes, there are some, let's say, reservations I have about AMD uh, uh, software. It's just, I think it's just overwhelming, believe it or not. In, in as much as I would, I would have considered myself an overclocker and quite technical, I think there's too much going on there. But that has nothing to do with ROG necessarily. It's going to be the same regardless of what RX 6800 you buy. But it is part of the experience that I had with this graphics card. But the thing is that the software that actually does have something to do with ROG is GPU Tweak, which is quite unfortunate because GPU Tweak is just substandard, especially given what the whole ROG experience is like in terms of the card itself, the price you pay and the presentation and how everything is communicated to you. It's a premium experience that has literally the, some of the worst software, at least visually, that doesn't match up with that experience. So that's definitely due for an overhaul. And believe it or not, this is always going to be the, I want to call it an Achilles heel, but it's going to be the low part or the low point of any of these ROG Strix cards for as long as GPU tweak is like this, um, yeah, that's just, it's just not up to snuff, you know. But outside of that, I have no complaints about this graphics card at all. I mean, you can play at the highest visual fidelity all the way up to 3440 by 1440p, you know. So there's no issue with that. And yeah, maybe we can talk about ray tracing a little bit. So when it comes to ray tracing, of course, these cards are able to do it, right? In fact, they're quite competent at it, but just not as competent as the competition. Okay, because the competition has dedicated hardware for that. And I don't think that we have that on the RDNA too. However, I did hear rumors of a similar sort of uh, technology to DLSS that AMD may implement in future to help alleviate some of the performance penalties that you get from running DXR software on the graphics card. I don't know when that will come out, if it does come out, if it's true at all, but in the meantime, I think there are some small minor adjustments you can make in games that can still make ray tracing playable for you. You know, it's not like when we first got the technology where it's just either on or off and you just take the hit as is. There are various granularities and precisions with which you can use ray tracing and I think you'll just adjust that so that it's comfortable for your play style and the FPS that you want to target and the resolution you're playing at. So I wouldn't make too much of a big deal out of the DXR performance but I will note that just purely because of that the RTX 3070 if you are more forward looking might be a better option for you right right now at least because I don't know as I said about the whole DLSS equivalent that AMD may have. However, if you are going to buy an RX 6800, I don't think you're going to get it much better than this one. I mean, as I said before, the card runs cool. 
max temperatures are reported around 69 degrees 70 degrees and the performance is mighty okay i actually did get to see 2.5 gigahertz at some point for a brief period but i actually did get to see that and it actually is a pity that amd limits the overclocking on these cards but we've covered that before so that's not likely to change so overall what do i think of this card i think it's a brilliant card actually dxr performance or not i think it's a really good card and i think for the first time we actually have performance per watt this is actually better than what nvidia is offering but that's not what you play you play games and it's in as far as that's concerned this has got you covered whether you're playing at 4k with some adjustments or you're playing ultra wide qhd i don't think you'll regret a card such as this one and did i tell you that it looks so good as well and it runs so 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 cool that's that's pretty much the big things for me with this card okay so with that said let me know what you think of these cards in fact are you even able to buy one where you are have you ever even seen one do you own one right now so that's it from me about the rog strix radeon rx 6800 let me know what you think in the comments below remember to share like subscribe and i'll see you guys the following week take care and peace